Good morning, people. This is Chef Olive, Kitchen on Fire. This is my studio. I have two kitchens. One is over there and one is in Berkeley. So I'm in Oakland right now. I'm going to make today a quinoa kale salad with a bunch of cool stuff is in it. It's pretty cool. It's called festive salad. I am going to show you how to do it entirely and I'm going to add some options because this salad is could be done in the winter and in the summer. And obviously you can't find the same fruits in the winter and the summer. So I gather pretty much everything so you can see all the stuff. I need to hone my knife a little bit. People ask me, um, do you sharpen your knife? Yes, once a year. But a little honing when you start cooking, just like that, light. See? I want to make sure it's... Yeah, noise. Then number two, I need to start the quinoa right away. For the quinoa, we do it super easy, guys. There's no... I don't have a formula for it. I'm going to show you. Boom, done. Okay? Easy. Yep. Quinoa, that's a cup. I'm going to put a lot of water. I don't care how much. Whatever, two, three cups, okay? Bring it to a boil. Simmer. Quinoa is easy. When it's done, it's just <laughs> out, strain, done, like pasta. You can measure. I'm sure there's measurement. I think it's two and a half. I don't want to deal with the measurement. I want to cook that in there. Little salt in the end. You can always add a piece of garlic if you want to give some flavor. Whatever, doesn't matter. You can put some, uh, anything you want, really. Let's say I'm going to flavor it. Rosemary, why not? Old rosemary, boom, done. Hurry up. That's going to give some flavor. Cool? That's it. Pretty cool, huh? Salt later. All right. Now, we're going to work with kale. So the first thing I need to know, I need to break down that kale. Okay? So I'm going to show you how to do that. And those are my fruits that I'm going to work with. See? Look at that. Super cool, huh? Wow. Beautiful stuff. Blueberries, goji berries, plums, pomegranate, apples, garlic, ginger. Okay. And then it calls for flax seed oil. I'm going to do um, olive oil because I really like olive oil. And I have some feta cheese in the fridge. I'm going to keep it over there and I'm going to bring it later. Okay. Cool. All right. First thing, let's get rid of that stem. So you ready? Twist. Look. Cool. Right. If you can do it, just use knife. Right. Use a knife. I'm gonna go really quick. Get all that kill. I don't use a stem, no thank you. You have to break down that kill. We're gonna make it like we're gonna mechanically break it because otherwise you can't eat it, okay? Unless you cook it, obviously. But if we wanna make a salad, the kale salad is not good until we're gonna do what I'm gonna show you right now, okay? Which is why we are to do it. So I took two bunches because I like to work less. So if I make something, I make double so I can give it away. Uh, my son is gonna eat some. You guys, this is not okay, garbage compost let's chop that so i'm gonna do a rough chop uh, let's forget some all right i'm gonna do a rough chop okay rough chop means take your time and now look remember one day i was telling you about a knife that i like bigger knife More like, a, almost like a Chinese cleaver. But you see why? I have much more surface area to cut. Much safer to cut a big, large knife. Those Chinese cleavers are perfect for that. I don't know what's mine. Keep going. Then put that into a large bowl. Of course you need a large bowl, yes. I know. Okay, and then we're gonna, we're gonna massage, like massage hard. So it has to be really crazy in there. So you go in there and you just break it. You have to do that. Otherwise you're not eating, I'm sorry, okay? 
So people are all crazy about their raw food. Uh, no, I'm sorry. You need to break it down. The stomach cannot eat that. Okay, has to be broken down. So you need to eat, you need to do that, and then you need to chew when you eat. Okay, if you don't do that, then the stomach has really hard time eating food. Okay, so this is what I get at the end. Right? Oh, cool. All right, now I'm going to put some lemon and olive oil, just right away. That's what I'm going to do right now. Pretty cool, huh? My lemon. Okay, so I have a lemon. And I have a grater because I'm going to grate my ginger. So you guys, I'm going to grate some lemon also, okay? Oh yeah. So think of nutrients. Think of nutrients. You're getting more nutrients. This is super vitamins, antioxidants, all kind of goodies. The lemon peel is one of the most incredible antioxidants and um, food, uh, blood protection. So this is super for you. I'm going to add some parsley as well because parsley is really good with lemon. It's fantastic food, okay? Now I can cut it up in two. I'm going to squeeze half. I'm going to squeeze half to start with. Get that in there. So the way you do this, not like this, okay? Right? You see that? Not like this. <laughs> the opposite. Squeeze. I might. I think I'm gonna do two anyways. I mean, the whole lemon. I'm gonna use that. So that. That's gonna break down that kale more. And I'm gonna put a bunch of oil also. So you guys, I don't measure the oil. I like oil. So I'm gonna go crazy on that. Okay. You know we're gonna put more stuff, right? So don't you worry about it. Ideally, that should stay there for two hours. Of course, I'm not going to do that for the video, right? But I have really good result if I leave it like this while I cut all my stuff. It's about 20 minutes. Great result. Okay, so leave it like this. See that? Awesome. Quinoa is going well. It's not open yet. You see the thing is like this and then boom, out. All right, so all I need to do at this point is when my quinoa is done, it's going to go in there, when it's cooled, and I'm going to start cutting all my stuff. So what do I have? Blueberries. Ready? <laughs> One done already. Very cool, huh? Plums. Plums are in the summer. I got it because I want to show you if you have plums. Those are not in season. I bought them just to show you, okay? I I'm going to show you how to cut them. I got pomegranate, apple, I got everything so you can see, all right? Here we go. For the plum, it's a little bit like the apple. Make sure you see the line. There's a line here. You're going to cut parallel to the line, right here. You see that? Whoa. Nice. Oh, that plum is so beautiful. That's super good, healthy. And that's it. And make something pretty. Uh, why don't I do big cubes? Great. Look at that. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. You need a sharp knife. That knife is sharp. Look at that, no pressure in there. Whoa. See that? Cool. Goes where? Wow. You see, that's pretty easy, huh? I'm gonna do one apple, okay? I got some pretty apple, look at that. Okay, so for the apple, it's the same thing. We're gonna cut around the core. So for the apple, look what's happening. Boom. And then, whatever size you wanna see. Cool. See, I'm holding everything together. Easy, huh? 
whatever size you want as an apple. I like kind of not too big, but you know, up to you. you can do that. Great. Now, where does that go? You know, in the salad. Boom. So it's really good, for example, in the summer. Uh, when you have a bunch of kids around, like a bunch of people, you want to feed that super easy. When it's hot outside, beautiful. In the winter, you have different type of... This is... I love salad anyway. In the winter, you just put um, apples, pears. You know, we're going to work with cranberries because I want to show you. I couldn't have any uh, cranberries. So if you don't have any fruits, like blueberries, you get cranberries or gojis. Now, I, I just got gojis to, to show you, that's all. Okay? Now, I'm going to cut this. I want to show you how to deal with this. This is really cool. Actually, you know what? I'll be back. I need to strain her to get my... Oh, no, make, I'll do the quinoa later. Ah, this is really cool. Now, I need to protect my table because it's going to be a mess, right? So I need to make sure that I'm cutting on my towel. I'll show you why in a minute. So what I need for the pomegranate, I need this, I need pomegranate, I need a big bowl and a heavy spoon. I'm going to do some beating. It's spanking time. It's pomegranate spanking. So this is how this is going to do. I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to put it like this. I'm going to cut it like this. This is one way to cut it and there's many ways. I'm going to show you one. Go straight. Now clean. Look at that. Beautiful. Whoa. There you go. It's not too bad. I didn't... It's fine. Okay? Because the, it's, the reason I'm doing that is because otherwise the red goes on the table like I've done early. See? Look. Red spot. Not good. And I do that every time and I forget. Anyway. So, here we go. This is how we're going to do that. Ready? Take a spoon. Large. Heavy. Heavy. Okay? Ready? Boom. Number two. Right. Pretty cool, huh? That's the easiest way. There's many, there is a couple of ways. I'll show you one another time. But this is a very easy way. Works. See that? It's all gone. Pretty much. Yeah. Clean that up. Go in there, clean that up, right? And then it's a big uh, pomegranate today, huge, super big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep half of them for another time, or just to eat, and I'm going to put half of it in the salad, okay? If you like pomegranate, just put the whole thing, doesn't matter, right? Because it's a salad, so who cares? All right, so let's put some in there. The salad is starting to look really pretty. Let's put about half of it. Salad is starting to look good, huh? Look at that. Whoa. Oh, that's going to be really cool. Damn. Okay. You can see I'm going to need way more lemon and olive oil, right? But I'm waiting for the quinoa. I want to see what's happening with that. Okay. I'm going to do... Um, now, garlic is up to you. Right? Garlic could be strong. A lot of everybody likes it. So I'm going to put some garlic. Garlic is up to you guys. You just figure it out. But ginger is really good. Ginger is always good. People love ginger, so go ahead and put a bunch of ginger. For the ginger, I got this. And I'm going to just grate it, okay? You can also smash it, which I'm going to show you uh, anyway, all right? Awesome. To get that garlic, I need a spoon. So to peel my ginger, I need a spoon, teaspoon. So I'm going to go show you that. I love ginger, so I'm going to put all this. This is a baby ginger. You can see because the skin is super light. It's a really good ginger. You don't have to peel it. I'm going to peel it just to show you, but really you don't have to. Like it's super clean. And now we're going to clean that. And I'm going to show you how to grate it. I mean, it's kind of... <laughs> simple but ready
Was like, wait. Okay. Now, if you don't want to deal with this, or if you don't have one, I'm going to show you how to smash the garlic. Okay. In order to smash the garlic, what you want to do is this. Ah, wrong camera. I want to go. Okay. I'm going to put a lot of baby ginger. Beautiful. Look at this. Go to the edge of my board right here. All right. That's a really good way also. If you do not have a grater, you're welcome to do that. This is going to work really well as well. Same. See? Boom. Look at that. In the salad. Right in the salad. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. My quinoa should be coming along. Smells really good because I put some good stuff in there. Right? It's not quite look... Ah! It's actually... Let me see. I think it's done. Done. I'm going to salt, drain. Literally, salt, drain. I'm going to drain that, come back with the quinoa, and be right back. Don't go away. Ow. Okay, so this is my quinoa. It's really beautiful. See? Perfect. Now, what I want to do right away, I'm going to put it onto it, a coal, a, um, you see, so it cools, right? So I don't cook my salad. All right, that's going to go in the back. Cool, all right, so this is done. I can put some goji, and I'm going to put my quinoa. So the quinoa, I'm going to wait until it stops steaming. And I'm gonna cut the garlic meanwhile. Now I'm gonna it's time to refresh that salad though, because I need more oil and more vinegar. Oh no, wait, I said I wait for the quinoa. Garlic again, up to you guys, really. Garlic could be um, you know strong for some people, especially when it's raw. So I suggest you make sure people like garlic before you put it in raw. You can do garlic confit, roasted garlic, those are much easier. But for me, I'm gonna go with this, okay. Wow, look at that. Okay, make it mince really fine. Really fine. Take your time, because you really don't want to chew on a big piece. Okay, so keep going, like really, 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 really inside. You can use the garlic press, huh? Garlic press, great, I don't, I don't mind, sorry. Garlic press are great, they're just a pain to clean. There's more difficult to clean than this. But you guys, I like garlic press, I've used them for years. No problem at all, I don't care what you use. <laughs> use, eat, cook. All right, so this is pretty. Okay, I have a good size garlic, except for this guy. I'm going to put that into my salad again, go back. And the last thing we're going to do is, we're done with that, put our quinoa. I'm not going to put all the quinoa, I'm going to put some, you can put all, whatever you want, but that quinoa can be used for doing next few days, uh, to do something with it, like eat as whatever, right? So I'm going to put some, whatever you want. Okay, so hey, one more. Boom. Now you have more quinoa if you want to eat lunch or do a um, okay and after that I'm gonna go get my, my feta cheese. Now look how cool that is. That's a beautiful set, right? So I can tell I need some dressing. Why? It's kind of dry. It looks okay, but it needs action. Okay? So I need more olive oil. 
plus I love volleyball, so not a point. All right, I'm gonna get my feta cheese and then we're gonna make a little presentation so we can see how pretty that is. Cool? Whoa, look at that. That salad looks great. I'm gonna put my goji berry because I put them out anyway, so might as well, right? This is super healthy now. Now we have a really healthy salad. That's gonna have a lot of cool stuff. Ooh, that's so pretty, man. Get a plate ready, I got a really good, uh, this is good, I like this brand. I like this brand, Valorizo, it's a French uh, goat. You can find it a lot of places, it's really good stuff. I like French feta, I usually get French feta or this. Israeli feta is really good also. All right, people, let me start again. When you open some feta cheese, you open it into a bowl. I forgot. All right, you remember, because there's all this way to keep that good. So I'm gonna go and dig. I need to get that thing out. So I can go with my knife, right? And take a little bit. And that's it. So you can put some in there, right? Just like that, mix. I need some nuts, almonds. So you can leave them whole or crack them a little bit. So you guys, I have this and let's make something pretty with this, okay? So here we go. All right, let me show you a really cool way. Something fun, you don't have to do that, it's just, it's fun. These are great little holes. You can find them at the, I think, well, I know I got it at, at uh, <laughs> Home Depot, but I know you can find them in stores, right? It's this guy. It's fun. So how are we going to deal with this? It's fun. You can take your salad. Now, look what I do. And you can put stuff around, that's all. Cool. So, what I would do is take some cheese. It doesn't hold very well, but it's kind of cool. And then you can kind of... Right? Put the rest in there. Yeah. It's hard to hold because of the kale, but and then you take a couple of almonds or pomegranate and you go around just like this. Nice. Cool. All right, it didn't stay, but at least you got something that is pretty cool at the end, you see? Little presentation, man. Ah, that's right. All right, that's it, done, I'm gonna put that away. And um, I'm gonna close this back. Now let me show you a little tips before I end that. My, you see that? Now it's above the water, I need to have it in the water, okay? There you go. Either that or I can put more water. So if you have the cheese on top, add more water and a little salt to keep the feta, that's how we do that, okay? So I'm gonna close this. And salad is done, everything ready. Thank you guys, I'll see you next time.